Hello, my name's Christian. It's not always easy, is it? Facing the day, especially when you feel like you're not living up to the image of who you're supposed to be. Today on Men Need Help, we're tackling something that's been a game changer for me, self-compassion. It's a concept that once embraced can truly transform how we face life's ups and downs. It's a journey, one that's close to my heart and probably yours too. It's something a lot of us struggle with, especially in a world that tells us men to suck it up or power through. Imagine wielding self-compassion as your superpower. It's not about ignoring your flaws, but embracing them and working through them with kindness. It's about being your own best friend, especially when life gets tough. But there's a challenge, especially for us men. How do we align this with the societal expectation of unwavering strength? How do we allow ourselves to be vulnerable in a culture that tells us the opposite? Research by Dr. Kristen Neff has shed light on this. Her findings reveal that men who practice self-compassion navigate life with more resilience, less anxiety, and a deeper sense of well-being, challenging the notion that emotional strength and vulnerability are mutually exclusive. Self-compassion is not just a warm hug during tough times. It's the profound understanding that suffering is a part of the human experience. It's about treating ourselves with kindness when we falter, recognizing our struggles as part of humanity's collective journey, and holding our thoughts and emotions in balance awareness through mindfulness. Self-compassion isn't talked about openly in male spaces. Witnessing my fiance and her girlfriends talk about their feelings and self-care rituals felt like observing an alien species. I was recently at an event for black men to talk about the stigma around mental health and wellness, and the room was absolutely full. It was beautiful seeing a man of black men showing compassion and vulnerability to each other and to themselves. This event really showed me the demand for these things in men despite what society would have you believe. Let me share a turning point in my life. After a rough breakup, I found myself questioning everything. My worth, my choices, my path. Night after night, I was lost in a sea of self-pity and pain. That's when I stumbled upon the concept of self-compassion. I learned something crucial. Facing pain with kindness changes everything. I started speaking to myself as I would to a dear friend. Standing in front of the mirror one evening, I told myself, this pain is a part of being human. It doesn't define you. It's a chapter in your story, not the whole book. And slowly I began to heal. Practicing self-compassion wasn't about ignoring my feelings. It was about acknowledging them without judgment and treating myself with the kindness I deserve. So what does practicing self-compassion look like? It's recognizing that we're all in this together and being mindful of our thoughts and emotions without letting them overpower us. And importantly, it's the opposite of self-pity. It's facing our pain with courage and care. The difference between self-pity and self-love is profound. Self-pity traps us in isolation. Self-love, however, frees us. It allows us to see pain as a part of the process, as a step towards growth. It's tough though, right? Our culture often equates self-criticism with motivation. But what if we approached our vulnerabilities with compassion instead of judgment? What if we viewed our struggles as opportunities for connection and growth? This shift begins with each of us, and how we talk to ourselves in moments of difficulty, and how we nurture ourselves when we fall. Why is this especially important for men? Breaking free from cycles of harsh self-judgment and emotional suppression liberates us from outdated norms of masculinity. It leads us to greater emotional intelligence, improved relationships, and a more fulfilling life. Self-compassion is the bedrock of true strength. It allows us to face life with a heart that's both fierce and tender. This week, Try this. Note a moment of self-compassion each day. Maybe it's acknowledging a tough feeling without judgment or giving yourself a word of encouragement. Share your experiences with us. Together, let's redefine strength through the lens of self-compassion. I'm looking forward to hearing your stories. Remember, being hard on yourself doesn't make you stronger. Embracing kindness towards yourself does. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.